And welcome back to the North Star Takes podcast with Bailey Palicki and Jacob Liberta. You can find all our videos here on our channel and feel free to give us a follow on both Twitter and Instagram as well. Today we will be discussing uh, the further continuation of our Minnesota Vikings positional breakdown. Mm -hmm. Our final positional breakdown video here is training camp gets rolling. We're finally into the defensive backs, which is arguably the most interesting uh, position battles that we have going on for this training camp period. So you got the corners with Patrick Peterson, Mackenzie Alexander, Bashad Breeland, Cameron Dantzler. Those are clearly your top four guys. It's going to be kind of interesting to see how that shakes out. That's a solid four guys. Yeah. And then uh, obviously you got your safeties with Harrison Smith and Xavier Woods. I don't think there's much controversy going on there. That's pretty locked in. Um, guys that could surprise, though, include like Harrison Hand, Chris Boyd as the backup corners. They've both been kind of showing out a little bit in training camp. Now, granted, it's training camp, but mm -hmm. then I'm kind of interested to see the backup safeties as well with Josh Metellus and Cam Bynum. See if either one of those guys can show a sign of developing that could step into the starting role maybe next year. So Yeah, at the very least, I hope they can provide good value on special yes. teams. Yeah, that'd be huge as well. So I guess so, so far from what you've seen from training camp and stuff, uh, what do you make of the cornerback room? Boy, I'm really excited. We got a lot more experience coming into this season in this cornerback room, so mm -hmm. that's going to be really nice. I think it's going to help us a lot. I think the cornerbacks did receive too much blame last year, and yeah. I, I think they played fine for the circumstances they were given, considering they were like a lot of them were first, second year in the league. And then you got a defensive line that's one of the worst I've ever seen. So right. I think I think that's awesome that we had. Honestly, we've added to this this defensive backfield with guys like Patrick Peterson, who's just a he's a star. Obviously, he's past his prime now, but mm -hmm. like he could still maybe in Zimmer's scheme have new life. And then yeah. you got guys like Bashad Breeland, who was actually one of the best man to man corners in football last year. So mm -hmm. as far as I think his PFF grade was for sure in the top 25, but it may have been higher than that. Okay. It's just a straight-up man-to-man grade. But yeah. I said his concern is a little bit about tackling, but you know what? If he can man-to-man -man cover pretty well, I think I can live with that a little bit, hopefully. Cause and he's got a good be, tackling safety behind him. Exactly, so. and it should be mitigated with a good front forward and good linebacker. Sure. So let's hope we don't have to worry about too much. But then then you get a little bit deeper, and you got Dantzler. I think he's developing along nicely. I think he, mm -hmm. he came on strong at the end of last year. And then, sure. you, and then you got um, – was last one, Mac. Mm -hmm. Mac, good nickel corner. Been in the league a few years. Been in the Zimmer system. He come come back for more. Yeah, always, always come back for more. <laughs> all these guys, all the Zimmer's guys. But yep. so I'm, I think he'll do fine. I think the biggest thing with this with this cornerback room is just staying healthy and I guess staying out of their own way. I don't know. What for do you sure. think? Yeah, I agree with you. I think, uh, yeah, Patrick Peterson. Obviously, it's very exciting. Um, it's a leader. He's wearing his college number number seven. So that'll be that'll be kind of an interesting. Uh, look out there on the field. Lots of swag. It'll be cool to see him on, on our team, though. I mean, he's been a dominant corner for the longest time here in the NFL for the Cardinals, and mm -hmm. he's a, he's a, seems very excited to be on the Vikings, which is huge, honestly, to have a player of yes. that caliber be so excited about being here. Um, I think the other starting corner is going to be Cameron Dantzler. I think he's going to win that job. Um, like you said, he developed very nicely towards the end of last season. Mm -hmm. Obviously, the main concern with him is injuries. Mm -hmm. But it looks like he's beefed up a little bit in the offseason, so maybe that'll help him. Um, and I think his confidence is just going to keep growing with each game, mm -hmm. each practice. Uh, having Mackenzie Alexander back is obviously huge with the loss of Jeff Gladney now. Yeah. No so kidding. that's our slot corner. You can pencil that or you can write that with Sharpie if you want. Like he, he's going to be the slot corner. I don't so. see anybody competing with him for that slot corner no. job. The rest of these guys all play outside. Yeah. So then you got Prashad Breeland as kind of your fourth like reserve kind of corner. Can uh, mix in every now and then. Mm -hmm. Then you got Harrison Hand, who's had a great OTAs. He's had a pretty decent training camp so far. And Chris Boyd, who Zimmer has quoted as saying, has all the talent in the world, but he needs to kind of refine his focus. That's some high praise coming from Zimmer. Yeah. He doesn't make a lot of comments like that about guys in, to the media. But. True. Yeah, and he was a seventh round pick, so it'd be that'd be insane to have a guy like that turn out to be a good player. And mm -hmm. he's been able to do some stuff on special teams as well. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I kind of agree with Zimmer. I mean, it's kind of clear that Chris Boyd almost gets too hyped sometimes. Uh, yes, he's just gotta bring it down just a little yes. bit. Yeah, like, I love some, the excitement, but just refine it. Like yes. you said, some of the penalties are just kind of stupid penalties where mm -hmm. he could prevent it just by focusing a little more. <laughs> so. Exactly, exactly. But uh, getting into our safety duo here, uh, Harrison Smith. Still one of the best safeties in the league, right? Hands down. Yeah. That's easy. Without a doubt. And then you bring in Xavier Woods from the Cowboys, who's – he's been a pretty good player, honestly. And honestly, that Dallas defense has been pretty horrible. Yeah, so. it was not doing him any favors <laughs> no. there. So 
So coming into a scheme like this, I'm sure he's so happy to be playing under a coach like Mike Zimmer, who knows what he's doing defensively. And with but, corners that aren't going to put him on an island. Exactly. Like those corners for Dallas are terrible. And then you get to play next to a Harrison Smith, who, like we said, is one of the best safeties in the league. So Xavier Woods might have one of the easiest jobs on this team, honestly. Just kind of getting to – maybe he'll get to roam a little bit with Harrison Smith being back there. And yeah. uh, who knows? I mean, I, I just really like what the Vikings have done with the secondary after the disaster it seemed to be last season. Mm-hmm. So If you give a safety the honestly, the ability to roam, like you said, yeah. I mean, two years ago we had that when we had a good cornerback room still. Yes. And Harris could kind of do that. And you saw he was tied with the league lead in interceptions that season. Mm-hmm. So – Maybe you could see something similar with Xavier Woods. Maybe not necessarily leading the league in picks or anything, yeah. but like maybe create more turnovers than we had last year potentially. For sure. And uh, I'm, I'm kind of excited for this Cam Bynum guy. He was a corner in college. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're converting him to safety. They said that right away after the draft, and they're sticking to it. Yep. Um, it'll be interesting to see if, if he can make some splashes here in the preseason, mm-hmm. have some good training camp practices, because I think they kind of look at him as a guy that they really think can develop and eventually turn into that starting safety. Because – the Vikings have had guys that have been either undrafted or late round picks with Sandejo and Anthony Harris that have turned into good starting safeties for a couple of years. Mm-hmm. So it'd be nice to be able to keep that trend going with uh, lower drafted guys like Josh Metellus and Cam Bynum. Absolutely. I think Bynum, the big thing, I remember when he got drafted, everybody was saying he's got high football intelligence and mm-hmm. he's just got good character. So that's that, great. That could take him a long way. So mm-hmm. just basically getting up to speed with the NFL game. And who knows? Maybe he can definitely fill in if somebody gets hurt. Or like you said, maybe going forward, he could uh, become one of the starters after the season. So yeah. I think that's a huge deal. So kind of wrapping up the whole defense here, uh, where do you see this whole defensive group finishing in terms of maybe like PFF grade or just any sort of rankings? Where do you where do you see them finishing the season? I'd like to say top 10. If they stay healthy, I can guarantee a top 10 defense. If we stay okay. healthy across the board, we don't have any significant injuries like we had last year, like Daniel Hunter or something, or like let's say Kendricks misses a bunch of games. Right. Like that, that could be a backbreaker, but – if we could stay mostly healthy, I think as a top 10 defense, I think it has a potential to go all up to top five again. Wow. Just okay. because we got a lot of season bets that everybody knows can play. It's just about to come together. Everybody stay on the field week to week. And really Zimmer putting out a good game plan, and he usually right. does that. So I, I think this has got pretty high potential here. It's just let's hope nobody shows their age quite yet. So Yeah, I'm with you. I think top 15 for sure. I think they can definitely creep into the top 10. I'm not willing to go top five, but, I mean, I guess we'll see. Um, I think they could have the best defense in the division, though, for sure. I mean, Chicago's is still pretty good, but Mm -hmm. we'll see if they've fallen off any. I think we're better than Green Bay's, and I know we're better than the Lions. Oh, Dan Campbell, don't (laughs) bet against them. (laughs) So, uh, yeah, it'll be interesting to see, I think, you know, how Daniel Hunter comes back, bringing Anthony Barr back into the mix. Obviously, he does a lot of things well. Mm -hmm. Um, Getting a, you know, having a good corner room again. It's just going to be completely night and day from last year, I think, with all the inexperienced guys and – Honestly, like guys like Shamar Stefan and Jaleel Johnson that just being truly, replaced. truly oh didn't gosh. belong being a starter in the NFL. So No, sir. It'll be it'll be fun to watch, I think, and we just gotta keep hoping and praying that nobody gets seriously injured and mm-hmm. we can have our key guys. So mm-hmm. can't wait. Yeah. I'm I'm <laughs> I'm getting excited for the regular season. So that's gonna do it for this edition of the North Star Takes Podcast. Be sure to like our videos and stay tuned for more content by hitting that subscribe button. Uh be sure to tell your friends about us as well. Um We've appreciated all the support we've gotten over the last several weeks, so let's keep it going and give us a follow on Instagram and Twitter as well, and thanks for watching.